My name is Essien Antiharobong. I live in uh, South Carolina, Johnson, South Carolina. I first met uh, Swami G. 209. And uh, I have been doing meditations for a few years. And of course, when I met him, he made me feel very, un very uncomfortable. I said, who is this? I had never seen somebody like this. What is it? I met him uh, in, North, in, North, uh, in Charleston, North Carolina in 2009. And from then, I've been following him, listening to the YouTube, watching him all over. And uh, he gave me a hug in 2009. And I said, OK, I need some more. So I went to a, a two-day live blaze in Charlotte last month. And there, I wasn't sure if I was going to be coming. And uh, he said, well, I'm going to make it possible for you to come. So I decided to come. And I said, well, I want to learn some more. I have learned quite a bit through the years. I want to see what else he has to offer me. And believe you me. He has suffered a lot. He has taken objectivity into subjectivity. I mean, he makes you feel like you should be here and that you have to wake up. And truly, I kept going to Dashan and, and, and requesting certain things from him. Not until two days ago when we started the, when we started the Shibohim. And he just wouldn't let me rest. And my Kundalini has been up, and I'm, I'm shaking now. I'm, I'm still wondering, I say, when is he going to leave me alone? <laughs> so this has been quite a trip I have really enjoyed. And I will never forget this trip. I will tell others, until you come to Bangalore or to Mysore here, you will not know exactly what you've missed. He tells you, you have to wake up. It's time to wake up. And really speaking, you have to wake up. I really enjoyed this time, and I thank you so much.